I wrote an essay once um, for a book um, that um, Ted Solitaroff, the uh, famous editor from Harper's and founder of, I guess it was American Review, or what was it, um, put together. He had seven poets and seven fiction writers talk about their influence or their origins. When I wrote my essay, and it's a long story, I'm looking into the whole thing, I, I, it's called Some Secrets. And actually, I, I, I included that in my book of essays, which uh, constitute a kind of memoir. And what I, what I wrote about was uh, that I really had no influences. I mean, everybody has somebody. James Wright had an English teacher. Somebody has an uncle. Somebody has a cousin. I had absolutely nobody. I've talked to every writer, painter I know, everyone. And, of course, I've been a significant, you know, good and bad influence on, you know, endless, you know, I don't know, 200 people, 30 well, three Three, three very well, and so I, I so I think of myself uh, as coming out of uh, Zeus's head like Athena. On some level, I grew up, as you know, in Pittsburgh, which was in the filthy industrial city, uh, son of immigrants, uh, and uh, sort of middle class and lower middle class proletarian. Um, I read a lot in high school, but I never thought of myself as an intellectual. And I was like a, I was like a C or D student, and I have sort of uh, went to college accidentally. No, there was nobody advising as the war was on. <laughs> nobody was advising anybody anything, and I, I, I was filling notebooks. I was a, actually a, a philosophy and political science major. And I was, an, I was an athlete in those days. I ran the mile. I played football and stuff. And uh, I, but I filled notebooks with, uh, with with little poems. Some of them funny. Some quite serious. And I thought it, I thought that was a quite a reasonable thing to do. I didn't know that it was weird. That I was queer. That I was odd. And one day I realized it, and I became a subversive, and I hid it. You know, and that was my origin. And, and I can't attribute it to anything. Oh, I I have. Uh, I have talked about my uh, my sister's death. She was a year older than me. And we were the only two in my family. It was a significant influence on my development as a poet. And I've written about her. Her name is Sylvia. Uh, or, but, but as a possible thing, or uh, or the or, or Shoah, or the, or the terrific racism and ethnic violence. Uh, and the neo-socialism that I was involved with as a kid. But, th th but that doesn't explain it. I don't know. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go back to the first thought. I, I am Athena. Uh, you can tell by my beautiful breasts and, I, and lovely thighs. That's what Athena had. And I, came, I sprang full-blown from the head of her father. Wasn't Zeus her father? I think he was. So, I mean, that... What else I can say? I don't know. I grew up in a dark time at the other, you know, 400 miles from New York, but at the other end of the Allegheny Mountains. There was no TV. There was no paradigm for what, a, um, for what an artist was or a poet in particular. Uh, there was no, there was no, uh, pro there were no programs on TV. There was no rap. Uh, there was, uh, I didn't even know what Bohemia was. And uh, I've met a couple other guys, uh, a guy named Dick Hazley, who's dead now, and Jack Gilbert, whom you probably know about. He got a lot of attention the last couple of years. And we were the only poets in the city. And a guy said to me recently, Ed Ochester, is a, well, a wonderful poet who just recently retired from Pitt, said to me a, a, a kind of strangely chilling thing about two years ago. He said, you know, you were the first poet in Pittsburgh. I said, what are you talking about? How could there be a first poet in Pittsburgh? I mean, there had to be people who wrote in German and Yiddish and Greek and Polish, people with a collective self, you know, had their own, collected their own privately published stuff and so on and so on. He said, you were the first kind of poet, and then Jack, and that was it. And now there are dozens of organizations. There's, there's the, I go and read in Pittsburgh. It's like, 
It's a strong city for poetry. 